Hey, so right now we're actually in Paris. We met some family here in Paris. We, we took a train from Munich. So a few days ago, we went to Normandy. Uh, there should be a video up about that. Go check that out if it's up. If it's not, it'll be out in a few days. Um, that was a really cool experience. That was actually the first day I've ever driven in Europe. Um, today, we're going to be leaving Paris. We're going to be renting another car and we're going to be taking a drive over to Rims. We'll be doing a wine tour, I think, and um, a city tour of Rims, but it's just going to be Elizabeth and I. Our family headed out uh, this morning. Today is Sunday, May 28th. We had a really good time in Paris. We went to Disney, we went to uh, Versailles. We did a bunch of stuff in Paris with uh, with the family that came in. Um, but now it's time to go get the rental car at, at Gare du Nord and uh, start the drive over to Rims. It should be like an hour and a half. Let's go get that rental car. So as you can see, we got to Rims. Um, we're actually pretty tired because yesterday we went to Disney and we walked about 11 miles, um, 10 or 11 miles. I'm not really sure what the final number was. Um, we're gonna go walk around the city a little bit, grab some dinner. Um, we're actually staying in a Best Western. It's the first time I think we were staying in one of these um, um, like American hotels, but in Europe. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice room. Um, the view is pretty good. It's a little too hot to have the window open, so I have it closed right now. Um, anyways, let's go grab some food and see what Rim is about. This is a cool little area that's closed off to vehicles, but uh, has all kinds of restaurants and bars and stuff. morning it's uh monday here in rims right now we're just kind of walking around it's about 8 30. we have to head towards the wine tour that we're doing at uh 10 o'clock so we have about an hour and a half hour and 15 minutes to walk around and then we bought our bus tickets for the day it, it's like a end of the day so it activate it and then it'll run until the end of their service today um, today is actually a holiday in a lot of Europe. It's Whit Monday. Um, so not sure what will be open today. Probably not a lot. So it may just be a lot of sightseeing around the city of Rims. So let's go. the uh, French tour so we will be listening on the app that they have in English through our headphones so oh well all the English tours are booked up
audio guy that some of the champagne that this place produces takes three, seven, or 12 years, depending on the, uh, the prestige of the bottle. constant 10 degrees Celsius, but it does not feel that bad in here. It feels really, really cool. Um, this place, this, this room is massive. While we didn't end up getting the tour that we expected, it was still fun to come down here and we still get a tasting up top. So we're gonna go see what that's like. It's a blend for this cuvee. It's composed of 50% of Chardonnay and 50% of Pinot Noir. That was some good champagne. Now we're gonna head out of here and go to the Surrender Museum. I'm not sure what the French name for it is. I'll put it on the screen here. That should take like an hour or two and then we have a walking tour in like two and a half hours, so. So we just figured out that the uh, the tour of rims that we thought we had is actually just a, a wine tour or a champagne tour. So we're gonna have about six tastings at a couple different places according to the person I just talked to. Um, so. Let's go see what that's like. Um, I thought it was more of a walking around rims, but I'm glad we did some of that this morning. Gotta wait for the bus, but right now we're standing in the shade because the UV index right now here in rims is like six or seven or something. It's going to be six or seven today. Dermatologists recommend you wear sunscreen at like a number three. So we're trying to stay in the shade. We, we got some sunscreen yesterday, but I don't really know the European scale for sunscreen, so apparently I got some weak sunscreen. The pharmacist told me that after I bought it, and they wouldn't return it or exchange it. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we gotta stay in the shade and make sure we put sunscreen on a lot, but uh, off to the museum. are original and probably are not like fully original but it's a really cool space with the, the picture and uh, the recreation of it at least um, <laughs>
50 litres, c'est... Euh... to Paris and joins La Seine, which was very convenient in the past. In front of you, you have the flat areas. We actually grow basic agriculture there and we prefer to have our vineyards on slow irrigation. And no, we really don't consider cutting the trees to have more vineyards. We actually have enough. That's a question that I need. Forty-seven thousand from twenty twenty-three. And all we have to, um, I mean, like to look at it is all the orange parts here are on slopes. I have a chance to grow vineyards on slopes. We take the advantage and we grow vineyards. Alrighty, well, that was a really cool tour. Uh, we're just gonna kind of hang out for the rest of the day, grab some food, go rest, and then, uh, you know, take it easy. So, thanks for watching. Tomorrow we head to Bastogne, so stay tuned for that episode. That should be coming out shortly. Um, until then, see you next time. Bye.